this video we'll be demonstrating how to install the Waves client. So the only prerequisite to this video is that you have installed the Chrome browser. The Chrome browser is required because the Waves client will actually be a Chrome web app. The first thing we need to do is navigate to wavesplatform.com. Just make sure that you navigate to that exact site and then click on the Get Client button. We're now brought to the Chrome web store and we are going to add the Waves Lite app to Chrome. So now we have a list of all of our Chrome web apps and now Waves Lite has been added. So let's go ahead and open that up. And now we have two options. We can import an account or add a new account. If we click on import account, we have the ability to add a wallet seed from an account that we've already set up. But for a new account, let's go ahead and click on the new account button. Now we're presented with this notice. Waves is basically telling us that the seed that will be generated for our wallet and presented to us is extremely important. You need to keep it in a safe place because it's the only way that you can recover your account in case it's been lost or if your data has been corrupted or you've had a hardware failure. Your seed is what will allow you to import your wallet to another device. So Waves is letting us know that whenever we get the seed in the next screen that we need to copy that and keep it in a safe place. So we're going to click on the I understand button and now here is the seed that they were referring to. This is also known as a backup phrase because it's what allows you to restore your wallet to another device. So Waze is first asking us to give a name to our wallet. So I'm going to call my wallet lizard and a password. And it's required that you have at least one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, and a number. And then let's register our account. And here we are. We have our Waves client here. Now something that you should do right when you first get in is click on this backup icon in the top right hand corner and go ahead and copy out your seed. That's the same seed that was presented to us on the first screen. And I'm just going to paste it in notepad here. And then I'm also going to grab my address here, copy and paste it into notepad as well. And we're just going to run through a quick test to make sure that we copied everything correctly in case we needed to restore our wallet to another device at a later time. So I'm going to sign out. I'm going to click on import account now. And this is what's going to allow us to test to see if we actually copied down our our backup phrase correctly. So I'm going to copy my seed here and then enter it here into the wallet seed field. And now it's pointing me to an address. So that's the second thing that I copied down. So if we look here, here's my address 3P4VZ and it looks the same here. And if we just go through and compare it to all the other characters that I copied down here, it is indeed pointing to my correct wallet address. So that's a good test that you can do right after you're creating your wallet to make sure that you copied down your seed correctly. And that will give you assurance that if you need to restore your wallet on another device, you will be able to because you have the correct seed. All right, and that's all there is to it for installing the Waves client and making sure that you have the ability to restore your client to another device with your backup phrase. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.